Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Today I wanted to make a video that was inspired by this incredible book entitled Big Magic, Created Living Beyond Fear by Elizabeth Gilbert. Now she's a fabulous author who wrote Eat, Pray, Love. Now I've been drawn to Elizabeth's work recently. The universe has kind of got me hooked on her at the moment. And I really wanted to take the time to make this video today to share with you the concepts behind Big Magic. Now, if you're a creative person, you're an entrepreneur, you're a musician, you're a dancer, or you're basically someone that has creative energy within you, but you haven't yet released it, then this is the perfect video for you. Now, if you're not creative, that is completely okay. You'll be able to apply the same concepts for 2017. Now, when we reflect upon 2016, you're probably not in a position that you really wanted to be in. It was a tough year, astrologically speaking. This year, 2017, is much more favorable. And when we look at the numerology, when we add up two, uh, 2017, add all those digits together, it equals 10. We then condense it to one single digit, one and zero is one, so the numerology is one. One meaning it is a fresh start, and it is the perfect time to take charge of your life. Finally, get to the point where you are visualizing the success and achieving the success that you have always dreamt about. Now, I have three goals for this year three goals. They're not all equally weighted. I have some that are more um, prevalent than others, but they all begin with B, funnily enough. Body, balance, and business. They are my three goals for this year. Now, I'm gonna be sharing with you um, a list of things that I'm going to be following, which was inspired by Elizabeth Gilbert's book, Big Magic. So that's gonna be kind of infused in the theme of today's video. So I hope you enjoy, and I can't recommend that book highly enough. Now to get started, it's gonna be a little bit confronting for you. Peter and I were sitting down going through our goals for 2017, and I got very defensive and I basically shut down. Um, and I do that when things get a little bit too much for me because that is when I'm targeting an area that needs to change. Anyway, with that being said, let's get on to number one. What does your heart ache for? Do you ache for that beautiful body that you've been visualizing or scrolling through Instagram wishing that you had? Or maybe you want to become vegan this year. Maybe you want to write a book. Maybe you want to create a program. Or maybe you want to do something completely different. What do you ache for? Number two, you need to identify your why. Why do you want this? You know, you need to make sure that your why is very, very clear. Let me give you a little bit of a hint. You can't have a why that's going to be influencing the greater good of of humankind because that's a byproduct of something that you're doing. So for instance, if you're creating a book, you're not writing a book for your viewers. You need to write the book just for you. If you want to lose weight and you want to find self-love, you need to do that for you, not for your family, not for your husband, not for anyone else. The issue needs to be just for you. No one else can change your destiny. No one can make you eat this food. No one can make you exercise. No one can make you sit down and meditate because you know that it's all good for you. You are the only person that can do it. Your why needs to be super strong because when the shit hits the fan, it needs to be strong enough to withstand whatever is happening in your situation. All right, let's move on to three. Now you need to make a plan. This is a super easy one. I always plan long-term. So my big goal is I want to, the three Bs that I spoke about, business, body, and what was the other one? Balance, <laughs> business, body, and balance. So they're my goals. So for each of my goals, I then plan um, monthly. So I do all of the 12 months and then I plan weekly as I get into that month. So for January, I've already planned for the whole month. So then once you have done that, then we need to go on to step 
four, which is to get started. Now that is the hardest one. You know, maybe if you're on a weight loss journey or a self-love discovery or whatever that may be for you, the hardest part is to actually get started. So work out what works best for you when you are planning and just start. If you wanna exercise but you're too embarrassed to go to the gym at peak hour when there's lots of people and you don't wanna run on the treadmill because your bum's gonna jiggle everywhere, do it at nighttime when there's nobody there or do it super early in the morning when there's no one there. The next one is to be consistent. Now that is a tough cookie, so hard to be consistent. But if you stick by your plan and your why is strong enough, then you'll be able to withstand it. The next one, I love this next one, probably because of the analogy of it. You need to be prepared to eat a shit sandwich. Things are gonna go wrong, of course. There's lots of astrological events that could interfere with that. There could be um, physical or emotional blockages that come up, but you need to be, be prepared to eat a shit sandwich. So regardless of where you are on your journey, and let's just say you, mm, let's go back to the weight loss one and you're working on getting these fabulous legs but it's winter time and it's freezing cold out and you would rather stay in bed for an extra hour and a half because it's too cold what do you think you're doing you need to have a why that is strong enough it's not going to be easy people set goals because they know that there's work involved in order to get them you know, if there was a magic pill and you'd be like, oh, take that, I've got fabulous legs now, great. Or my life is in balance. Or I've just started, I've just released my business. You know, people would do that, but there's no shortcut for success. You have to do the work. And if you are not prepared to do the work, then your goal is gone. Don't even get started. You're just wasting your own time. Sometimes you'll get to a point where you actually feel like it's not worth it. And then that's when you need to reevaluate. Just go back to the start and start at step one. The other one is sometimes your shit sandwich comes up and maybe you failed. Actually, I don't think, I don't believe, I don't like that word failure because you haven't failed if you're still continuing to try. Um, so maybe you're trying, but you're not really getting anywhere and you've tried different approaches, but it isn't working. So this is a time where you need to own your own disappointment because sometimes things don't wait, work out the way we want them to, but that means that the universe has a plan for you. All right, let's go on to the next one. Ask for help. This is a tricky one, a very tricky one. Let's just say this is your weight loss journey and you're doing everything yourself and you're not really getting the results. Ask for help, maybe enroll yourself into a group fitness class if that works best for you and that's in your budget or maybe you need to get a personal trainer someone to whip your butt into shape um, or if you're writing a book and you're having trouble working out how do I publish this and how do I do this and this you need to maybe pay someone you know there's no uh, what's the word there's no point you learning hundreds of different skills in order to release something when you could just pay someone and then the job is done. There's no shame in that. I've learned that lesson the hard way. I realized that I can't have 100 different hats on my head. If I wanna be a writer, then I'm gonna be a writer. If I need to publish something, then I need to pay someone in that field. And that's hard because it's kind of like you feel like you're giving up control. Well, if you're one of those um, control freaks like me, then that's gonna be really hard for you. But just ask for help. There's always people there that are willing to help. They may not be in the physical form. Maybe you need to ask like for spiritual help or guidance, or maybe you even need to seek um, help with people who are online. The next one, ooh, I love this one, is to fall in love. When you fall in love, you have you make time for that special person when you feel like your schedule is so full but somehow you meet that person and you just want to spend time with them you make the time 
You go through the whole dating scene, going out for dinner and going on cute dates and you're dressing up and you feel beautiful and cute. And that's all a part of falling in love process with your work. Maybe you're at a roadblock and you're having some trouble, you've asked for help, but you just need a little bit of guidance or maybe you're a creative person and you have lost inspiration. What you need to do is maybe get dressed up. Instead of sitting down for work in your pajamas and not brushing your hair or putting on makeup or whatever works best for you, whatever is a part of your self-love practices, maybe that's something that you need to do. You know, because when you get caught up in the romance of what you're doing, you can have a quickie and within that 15 minutes, You've just nutted out this most fabulous idea ever, or you've just done, um, let's just say, 20 squats in the kitchen. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still trying to get over a cold. Um, maybe you're just gonna do 20 squats in the kitchen, you know, and that's your quickie for the day. Maybe you didn't have time to do what you had planned, but just get something in every single day. I really like that one. Okay, the next one is the most important, completion. You need to celebrate your success. Now, the most important part is just finishing because most people don't even get to that phase. Last year I set a goal and I didn't even come close to finishing, you know? So I've actually rejigged the goal for this year and I'm going to get to the end. You know, you don't need to get caught up in the whole perfection and perfectionism scene because that's just detrimental to anyone's mental health really and I just feel like if you finish that's all you need to do that was the goal and when we look back we'll be like oh my god like look how far I've come just know that every single day that you're working harder and harder on your goal and it basically becomes ingrained within your routine that's all you can ask so I wish you every success with whatever goals that you have planned for 2017 or whatever year you are now watching this video. And I just wanted to say, enjoy the process. Send love and gratitude to every area and you're going to achieve everything that you have ever wanted. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next episode. I love you so much. Goodbye.